Hello, I'm Chris Swaffer, Product Manager for Notion. In this video, I'll be walking you through in detail what's new in Notion Mobile, but specifically compared to the previous Notion iOS app. We're going to look at new features in design, note entry, edit tools, handwriting, and transferring to Studio One. For a broader overview of Notion Mobile, check out our other videos. But for all your existing Notion iOS users, here we go. So the first big thing is, and our number one feature request, is that Notion Mobile is now cross-platform. So if you are one of our many users who has, for example, enjoyed Notion on an iPad, but also owns an Android phone, or you have a school that has a mix of iPads and Chromebooks, or you have kids with Fire HD tablets, now you can run Notion on all of them. Search for Notion Music in the Apple iOS and Mac App Stores, the Microsoft Store, the Google Play Store, or the Amazon App Store. The great thing is the app looks the same and works the same exactly across all devices and platforms. The second big thing is the app is now free. So you can try it out right now, no charge, no sign in. The free version has unlimited staves, all the editing features, and Notion's core sound library. From there, like in the previous version, you can optionally register. You'll then receive the Notion welcome pack. This includes some additional sounds as before, including solo strings, as well as access to the new Notion mobile forum and the ability to write in up to four, yes, four voices per staff. Finally, there is a single in-app purchase, the Notion feature bundle. This includes handwriting recognition, all add-on sounds, direct network transfer to Notion and Studio One, and some advanced export formats. The Notion Feature Bundle purchase is per platform, but you can unlock it with a valid Sphere membership. So let's look at the app itself. We've rewritten and redesigned the app from the ground up. You'll notice a new start page to access your scores, but starting a new score should be very familiar. Once in the app, we've again kept the focus on the score area itself and kept everything around it to a minimum. You can now customize the look of the app. The palette can be extended into two columns, be moved to the right hand side, or shrunk by using smaller icons. You can change the theme to dark or light and independently show the score dark or light. The on-screen instruments have been redesigned too. The keyboard has a slider area and octave up and down buttons, which can be adjusted even whilst live recording. You can adjust the width of the key to suit the screen size and your finger. There are now more drum pads available and are coloured. and can even be used to enter pitches for any instrument. Let's look at the palette in more detail. It has been redesigned and split into two parts. At the top, you can tap to open the note durations and select, or quicker still, press, slide, and then release on the duration you want, all in one single action. Dragging up and down to change pitch, and a new feature, left and right to add accidentals. You can also now change duration of existing notes by selecting them and then tapping the required duration in the palette. The tools grid works in the same way. Here, further options are available underneath in a single column or in two columns if you have selected the extended palette. Either tap to select and then enter into the score, or make a selection first and then tap the tool to apply to the selection. 
Most of the durations and tools now have keyboard shortcuts, new for Notion Mobile and our second highest feature request. Our selection tool has had a big makeover. Now Notion will allow you to make a selection by touching and dragging, and you can see that it selects all the objects in a measure individually. You can still double tap to select a whole measure as before and drag the handles to increase the range size. You'll see a handy edit menu here pop up with shortcuts for cut, copy, paste, duplicate, and transpose. Or tap the three dots for the full context menu. You can do a lot more with a selection now on top of what you could already do. You can now drag up and down to change the pitch. Change all the notes to rests or rests to notes. You can select the highest or lowest notes. Turn all selected notes into grace notes. Move the selected notes between voices or hands. You can add dynamics to all staves at the left of a selection. You can edit similar objects at once. Also new is Paste Reflow. This allows you to paste a copied or cut selection into a different rhythmic position. Notion will then respell the durations, adding removing ties when necessary over bar lines. A context menu can be opened in a number of ways. A right click, a long press, tap the icon in the extended palette, or tap the three dots here. What's new is that the context menu is adaptive, depending on what is actually selected. So for example, a line called symbols will only show if two or more chords are actually present in a selection. Also new is that we've rolled in what were separate dialogues into the context menu. For example, transpose, insert measures, and double at interval. For actual note entry, we saw earlier, you can now drag a note left or right to change accidentals. This same mechanism is also available for drum set, where you can drag left and right to get different playing techniques. Note also how text labels pop up to show you what you are selecting. Also new for drums while we're on the subject are left and right labels for sticking. For guitar, you can now type tab numbers directly onto the tablature, something you couldn't do in the previous iOS version. You can show or hide stems in tab, and the capo can be edited from either the staff or the guitar fretboard. Let's look at some text improvements. You can now add line breaks to text boxes. For lyrics, you can add any number of verses. Just start the new word under the previous one to create a new verse. For chords, there is a newly designed chord selector that adapts to all screen sizes. And a little tweak to layout, chord symbols now do not affect note spacing if there is space for them. Another highly requested feature. There are many other small layout tweaks here and there, all stemming from your feature requests, from being able to hide grace note slashes to hiding the transposition of instruments in score setup. But let's move on to handwriting recognition. Handwriting is now available across all devices, not just tablets, but on phones too. Notion now recognises supported styluses and will automatically switch between normal mode and handwriting mode depending on whether you're using your finger or a pen. This works with the Apple Pencil, Surface Pen and supported Android and Chromebook styluses. You can now also alter the timer for the handwriting recognition from instantaneous 
up to a number of seconds. Furthermore, the timer can be overridden by double tapping on the Apple Pencil 2 itself or the button of a Surface Pen. There are also a large number of improvements in the actual recognition under the hood, including being able to write with five line percussion instruments like a drum set. Elsewhere, you can now enable metronome in playback and there are some new export options available as part of the feature bundle. As well as WAVE and MP3, you can now export as M4A, Opus and FLAG. In addition, all the audio formats now have export options, including bitrate, sample rate, compression and resolution. And finally, there is a new transmit feature. As part of the feature bundle, you can now send your document directly between devices on the same local network. It will look for any other instance of Notion Mobile, Notion Desktop and even Studio One, regardless of what device or platform they are running on. So here I can see Studio One and I can send it right over. And Studio One has opened the document. Bear in mind this transfer is not based on some kind of MIDI or special music XML file. Studio One has actually natively opened the Notion file. So that's some of the new features in Notion Mobile as compared to Notion iOS. Thanks for watching.